Holly Bridge 3 is finally out, and after playing most of the campaign on my own time, there's one challenge that I'm curious if it's possible. Now, one of the big new features of Holly Bridge 3 is the Foundation, which is like a static anchor that you can buy and place anywhere you want in some levels. This obviously makes it easy to build long spans of bridges, but it's also pretty expensive. I was curious if it's possible to beat all of Holly Bridge 3 under budget without using any foundations. Now, of course, the first thing I did here is open up the campaign and I checked what levels even offered foundations as an option. Now I remember it took a little while to finally get to these and I could see here near the end of the second world the first level shows up. So booting into this level now, you can see my original solution here, and it was relying pretty heavily on foundations. Now I can't just straight up remove them though, and you can see the first thing I did here was delete off pretty much all of my support material, and I started over. Now I wanted to mainly focus on under supports to this bridge, and that's for a couple of reasons. The first one is that I have a nice large wall on the left side here to build up against, but also building under supports generally ends up being pretty cheap. And you can see the reason for that is that I don't need to necessarily connect everything with triangles. As long as I build up arcs like this, it ends up being pretty easy to just use a bunch of wooden ropes to connect everything together, and this is a very cheap way to support the bridge. Now, trying this out here, of course it couldn't have gone right, but once I deleted off the unsupported part of the bridge, it was a little bit better. I could see though I had a few sections of road on top I needed to support with some extra trussing, and once I added in that first one here, you can see it's a lot better. Now by adding in the second one as well, immediately here you can see the bridge is relatively stable and it's also not really that expensive. So I went ahead now and I copied this to the other side, but I did have a little gap in the middle. And I just supported this up with a simple truss. Now trying this out, it was pretty close to working actually, and I can see the only thing that broke was this one piece of wood. Now I switched it out for some steel here, which is a little more expensive, but it still seemed to be working great right up until the end. The same same piece on the other side ended up breaking, so just by replacing that one, I managed to beat this level, and that was a pretty good warm-up. That level, of course, didn't really require foundations, but this next one definitely makes it harder not to use them. Now, trying out this level here, I beat it before, but for some reason now, the game updated and it no longer works, so I guess now I have to fix it anyway. And you can see here, I cleared out all the foundations and all the wood, and I'm starting over with a similar design to before. And you can see here, once I mostly got the bottom working, I also used some extra roads on the top here to keep those cars from falling down. Now after that, you see I also mirrored over this bridge and I just filled the little gap in the middle like before with an extra truss. Now this was actually pretty easy here and once I got this all connected, I tried to let the truck across. This was close to working, but there was a few pieces I needed to replace with steel. Fortunately in this level, I don't have any limit on the amount of steel I can use and everything looked good right up until those cars on top fell down again. With a little more weight from roads though, that managed to support them up here, and I got the car in the bottom all the way across. Now, I just need to get those cars on top across as well, but that's gonna be a lot more weight. To start out though, you can see I copied a road all the way across on the top, and I remade my trusses here, and replaced them with X's. Now, by doing this all the way across, for the most part, it was holding it together well, and just replacing a few pieces with steel, I was back to where I was before, but now I have a road for those top cars to drive on. So now, I tried deleting off some of those roads, but the extra weight from those cars is just too much and ends up breaking the bridge. Now, by using a single road, it kind of delayed things a little bit, but I found much better luck by using two roads like this. This was actually holding this car back, but it was doing too good of a job and ended up getting permanently stuck. Now, I found that this configuration where I'm wrapping around the first car wasn't bad, but it also flipped it around, which meant that everything still ended up just getting stuck. This design also was very prone to breaking the entire bridge, so I cleared this off and I had another idea. I figured if I made a steep enough ramp that the car couldn't get up, the tractor might be able to push it over and that could work sort of like a delay. Now trying this out here, it actually did seem to work at first, and by making a little ramp on the bottom to let the car gently fall back down, this was looking pretty good. I could tell here the car and the tractor were much more delayed than before, but still it ended 
ended up breaking the bridge once they drove on it. Now to squeeze out a little more delay, what I wanted to do here was add on an extra ramp for the tractor to get up. Now I figured if the tractor also had to contend with a ramp here, it would slow things down just a little bit more and hopefully not destroy my bridge. Now I played with the slope of this ramp for a long time here, but Finally here, I managed to find a point that let the tractor barely get up, and with this, I managed to beat this level. Now again, that one wasn't too hard yet, and moving ahead a little bit, I found my next level with foundations. Funnily enough though, I didn't actually use them for my original solution at all anyway, and you can see here, this ended up working out fine. Now as I said before, foundations are really expensive, and there was a lot of levels where I decided they just really weren't worth the trouble. Now my luck ended very quickly though. Because you can see this next level here is an 80 meter bridge, and I'm using three foundations. Each one of these sections was hard enough to get together, and I really didn't know if I was going to be able to support something this long with what I had. Now, worst of all here, I didn't even have walls that were that long, so there's only so far I could build down, so my arches are going to be pretty shallow. This isn't really helping me out all that much, but you can see now, I'm trying to adapt that design that I had before, and and basically just scale it up a lot. I'm also starting out immediately with steel because I knew there was no way that wood was ever going to be able to support this. Now somewhat annoyingly here, I don't have any ropes or cables, so I have to use steel and chains like this to keep the bridge together. This in theory should be fine, but it's a little more expensive than if I used cables, and it does feel a little wasteful. Now I was able to copy over this truss system over here, and except after detaching it from all the other roads, it kind of held together, but the roads ended up snapping on me. This is a lot of weight, and unfortunately in this game, they got rid of reinforced roads, so I had to use long spans of steel to keep it together. Now I could tell that the roads were really struggling here, because it seemed like as soon as I loaded in, they pretty much immediately were snapping. To fix that, I tried using diamond piece to steel, which helped out a lot here, and actually did let this support itself for a little bit. Unfortunately though, you can see this last piece folded down down, but with one extra piece of steel here, it stayed rigid, and this was looking pretty good. Now, it would eventually break with the limo on it, but by adding on more diamond piece of steel, this wasn't bad at all, and I copied it to the other side. I also had to add in a few extra pieces of diamond steel to make sure it could get to the end here, but with this, the limo drove all the way off, and now it just needed that middle section of bridge. This span was still 28 meters, though, which was way longer than I was hoping it would need to be. Now, to start out, though, I tried building up an arch here, and you can see what I'm doing is using wood trusses on the bottom to hold sections together. After that, I tried building up to the arch using some steel here, and it was kind of close to working, but it still folded down on itself wait a bit, and I knew it needed some help. Now, under close inspection, it seemed like these very bottom pieces of steel were bearing a lot of the load, so I replaced them for diamonds straight away. This still caused other pieces in that chain to break, though, so I had to replace almost all of them with diamonds. Now, letting this settle down here, it still broke, but it wasn't that that broke anymore. But with even more testing, I realized I needed to double up my diamonds like this to get more strength. Now, to support the roads as well, I tried using more diamonds like this on the entire surface, and now I was starting to get somewhere. For the first time, I was actually supporting the entire way to the bridge. It was a little over budget, and you can see I was actually missing some of the roads since I replaced them with steel, but I was really starting to make some progress. Now, firstly here, I tried to delete off a lot of these steel pieces, and what I wanted to do was streamline the design a lot. To do that, you can see here I used a lot of steel pieces, and I'm trying to make larger diamonds. This spreads out the weight over a larger distance and should prevent roads from bearing any weight at all. Now, of course, I still had to build that platform across, but with a few extra trusses all the way to the end here, it actually was supporting itself fine, and the limo was starting to go across. Now, you could see here, it was just barely breaking on me, and what I really wanted to do was to delay the second car from moving for quite a while. For right now, I just wanted to completely stop this car from moving at all, and to do that, you can see here, I used a road and a couple pieces of steel to break 
trace it back. This can't be my permanent solution since eventually it will need to let the car pass through, but just to let the limo get through, you can see here it actually did work pretty well. And with just one more diamond piece of steel, the limo finally managed to get through, and now I wanted to let the other car go as well. Now I tried a whole bunch of things to make this work, but I found the best way to go was literally just to add on two pieces of road with one piece of steel holding it back. This ended up being just enough delay here that the car was able to get through, and you can see now they both hit their flags. Now just getting any completion at all was pretty amazing, but of course I was still badly over budget here and needed to shave it down. That started out with a few easy things like lowering some wood, but I was still really far away, and what I wanted to do is come back to this level once I tried out everything else to see if I'd learn anything more. Next up though is a level called Shipping Lane, and this one was gonna give me some trouble. You'll notice now just how much I'm relying on foundations to support these hydraulics here, and with the boats coming through, I didn't really see an obvious way to support things up. The good news was that I felt like I had a good amount of budget here, so deleting off those foundations and all my support material, you can see now I'm starting out with an arch design once again. This time though, I'm forced to keep it pretty small, and you can see now I'm just trying to support up the first four roads. Now I also added on a hydraulic here to lift up the bridge, and my plan originally was to lift up each section of the bridge above all the boats. Once I had a good proof of concept going here, I copy this over more, and you can see now I just got it over that first boat. Now I tried adding in more supports here, and this was where problems started to arise. There's just so much weight overhanging on this arch that the hydraulic itself is getting overloaded. There's just not a lot I can do about that, and even adding this to the other side, there's gonna be too much of a gap to span, and I knew I was gonna need more supports after the first boat. Now with this design, it was holding itself together pretty well, and I could tell it honestly was pretty good. To get out of the way of this boat though, what I wanted to try doing was lifting up just this small section of the bridge. To do that, I built up a simple truss here, and while the loads were pretty extreme, I was able to get this out of the way, and you can see the boat's able to go straight through. Now, once I saw that, I copied it to the other side, and now all I had to do was worry about the middle part of the bridge. This, though, was pretty much just a copy and paste from what I had before, and with this, while I am very over budget, I managed to pretty easily actually get the truck all the way across. Now, to start saving money, though, I started shaving down large sections of the bridge and replacing them with wood. This of course is a lot cheaper, and now that I know relatively where the load on the bridge is, it's actually not that hard to start randomly replacing things and lowering the cost a lot. With the middle part done, I was able to copy this over to the right side here and be pretty under budget. And with just a few more pieces of steel to hold it all together, this was working pretty much as well as before, and now I was finally under my budget. Now next up here is probably one of my favorite levels in the entire entire campaign. You can see here we have this car that's powering a car. This is exactly like something I'd make in one of my videos, and seeing this in the campaign is actually pretty cool. To get this started though, I need to get this all the way across, and for that, you can see I'm building up basically the same exact design as before. I wish I had a little more variety in what I was doing here, but as far as I could tell, this really is one of the better ways to make a bridge, and once I supported up the bottom here, I added on a few more trusses here to keep it all together. Now, unfortunately, because it's sloped, I can't just copy and paste it, and I also had to build this on the other side here. This is a little annoying, but with just a few extra pieces here, I was able to keep this all together, and with this, it started to work. Right in the middle, though, the big car and the small car end up colliding, and that causes the bridge to break. Now, of course, ideally what I would want to do is delay the car on the bottom, just like I've done before, and to do this, I used a few extra road pieces. Trying this out now, it was close to working. You can see I almost cleared that car, except that the last second I got stuck on the first road. Now I changed things up a tiny bit here, and you can see what I did is added on one more road piece in front of the car, and this allowed me to get over it, while also pushing that piece down, which allows the car to go. Now this of course worked out pretty much perfectly, the cars went in completely separate times, and this allowed me to pretty easily beat that level. Now that one wasn't really too bad, but this next one is potentially even worse than anything we've seen 
seen before. You can see just how far I need to get this car to jump across here, and with no foundations, I have no good way of supporting it besides the wall. Of course, though, you know the drill by now, and you can see the basic shape I used to construct the first part of this bridge. This is holding together pretty well here, and that's partly thanks to the fact that the bridge is sloping down. That ends now, though, because now I need to slope it back up to finish the jump, and for that, I tried using some steel and ropes to hold it together. Now, changing out a few normal steel pieces for diamond steel, let it hold up in the air, and you can see I tried to do my jump, but it was just too much load. After much reinforcing, though, finally here, I actually was able to get most of the jump done, and this was kind of close to working. I was still a good few meters short, though, so to make that work, I wanted to add on a few extra roads. This is going to add a lot of load, though, and just simply trying to do this didn't work out super well. With a few changes, though, I was able to get it off the end here, and you can see I went about the same distance. That wasn't really what I was going for, and I realized the problem is that my launch angle was actually pretty bad. Even adding on more roads here didn't really seem to help things, and in fact, may have even hurt them. So I went ahead next, and I lowered down the slope of my roads a lot, and tried to get it more around 45 degrees. This, of course, is the optimal launch angle, and once I stacked on a few extra roads like this, you can see here I'm using a bunch of steel to keep it together. This actually was working pretty well, and for the first time, you can see I slammed into this wall. Now, to adding on a few extra steel pieces here, I was able to get it to just slip in the wall here and hit the flag, but I still was a little over budget, and I wanted to shave things down a bit more. Now, fortunately, I did have a lot of unoptimized trusses here, and just by lowering them down or replacing some with wood, I pretty easily managed to improve things by a lot. Now, I also tried replacing a lot of ropes with multiple pieces of wood, which is quite a bit cheaper. Doing this and of course lowering things as much as I could finally let me sneak in the wall here and beat that level. Now here is the final level in the entire challenge, and this one was surprisingly difficult. It seems easy at first here, and for this, I did the exact same thing I've been doing this entire video, which is making a simple arch on the bottom. Now, of course, once I had that, I connected them together in the middle as well, and I was worried it wasn't going to be able to get up that first part there, but it pretty easily did it, and now I just need to focus on the second part of the bridge. Now, I almost couldn't figure out why they even bothered giving foundations to this level, because it's really not that hard to support. I guess this second one is kind of long, and you can see here I struggled a little bit on it, but with not too much trouble, I managed to come up with something here that keeps the entire bridge together. The hard part, though, was something I was totally not expecting, and trying this out now, you'll notice a problem. The car ends up just stopping on the bridge here, and I was wondering if it was too steep or something, but it clearly was able to get over the first part of the bridge. That's when I realized this isn't a normal checkpoint, it's actually a stop checkpoint, and in order to make this work, I was going to need to build up a lot more speed going onto the second bridge. That's quite a bit harder than I was expecting here, and you can see I tried building up a nice ramp to get up and back down to hopefully build up that speed I need. Now, giving this a test here, it was close to working, except it was getting stuck at the top, so to fix that, I tried rounding it out a bit more, and this did seem to do the trick. It was kind of destroying the bridge on the way down, but with just a few pieces of steel, I was actually maintaining my speed onto the second bridge. Now, just like I suspected, the brakes in this car are horrible, and you can see here I got up to the checkpoint without stopping. And with just a few more minor changes, this whole thing was done under budget. Now, before you click away, though, I do need to go back and fix that level from before. This one is still badly over budget, and to start fixing it, you can see here I'm trying to delete off a lot of trusses and replace them with just single pieces of wood. Since the roads on this level aren't really load-bearing, this shouldn't be too hard to support, and and you can see here, I actually was doing a pretty good job of keeping it together. Now, another little trick I was doing here is replacing all of the center portions of my diamond piece to steel with wood. These center pieces don't need to be very strong, and wood works very well and saves me quite a bit of money in the long run. Now, all this gets me down to around $270,000, but I still had a massive amount of room to go, so next up, I tried just using normal diamond piece to steel instead of my doubled up diamonds. This, of course, is having the cost I need for each of those members, and by deleting off a lot of these here, I saved a ton of money. I was only up by 
$1,000 now, and better yet, by deleting all of those pieces, I'm saving a lot of weight, which creates this positive feedback loop where I can keep deleting off more support. This wasn't exactly perfect though, and I still had to get a little creative by deleting a lot of chains of steel and replacing them with chains of wood. I also replaced some pieces of steel with wood diamonds, which saved me a lot of money. Besides all that though, it was really just a lot of tweaking that got me all the way there, and finally here you can see with one dollar to spare, I managed to beat this level. Now, overall, my thoughts on foundations are a little mixed in this game. I feel like they could be a pretty cool mechanic, but the fact that you could beat every level without them under budget kind of puts into question how useful they really are. Hopefully, if they add any challenge levels or any other kind of secret worlds, their usefulness can really start to shine. But guys, if you have more challenges you want to see me do, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Now, of course, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Polybridge 3 content, and otherwise, Till next time.